yesterday to noon. Just let's start over again over here. Where is the Shiloh? Boy Ilfa. Okay, we'll start over here on Namid Base. Tesbav Namid Base. Boy Ilfa, you daim Taurus Lechatsoyim. Can hands be purified half and half? Who ain't Taurus Lechatsoyim? The mercy is what exactly is the Shiloh? Hechidom. Ilay Melchamashi Beitre Miradius. Are we speaking the two people? The two people are using one revius to to what? purify their hands. What to none? It's explicit Mishnah. Revius not only a daim lech rafilu shnayim, right? One person. Let's say one person takes his hands, puts them together. Somebody pours the revius. Let's say two people. They put their hands directly one under the other. Right. And also, so it's in the Mishnah. It's not a shaylo, right? Afilu shnayim el de kamashi chado chado yode. Meaning, let's say he washes one and then he puts the other one in the mikveh. So one is through washing, one is through, do you combine them? That's what I have in here. Mm-hmm. Go on to now, and what's it's a Mishnah? Yeah. Anoto yodu achas, yod of Toros. One hand with, with the cup, one hand into the mikveh. It's Toros, so again it's a Mishnah. That can, so that can't be Yilfa's question. Elad kamashi palga palga didei. Meaning, he washed half of the hand and washed the other half of the hand. Howard's, what, is somebody coming up? Why don't you just shut off the ringer so you won't, you won't even feel the vibrate? They don't, they don't need us downstairs. It's okay. Yeah, but I know you're distracted yeah. with the phone. Nothing more. Okay. Elod palga palga diyodik. He washed half day and the other. Now the question is like this. Vomer Dvrei Rebiana. He was learned in Dvrei Rebiana. He was told this is a tosefta. Yedayim ain't Torahs lechatsoyim. Lo tzricho diiko mashke. Meaning, let's say he washed half, dried it, and washed the other half. No question. You don't combine them. Right. Right? Samara says, Lutricha dika mashke tofeach. We're speaking with mashke tofeach, mean it's semi moist. Oh, it's right. not totally dry. Right. Wait, it's semi. Vechika mash tofeach mehabi. She says, and if it is tofeach, mean it's semi moist. Votanan. Hanitzok vakatafris. Now we're going to take it slow here. Hanitzok vakatafris. If you have a flow. Or katafris means it's like a waterfall. It's flowing on a, on a diagonal. Right? Or mashke tofeach. Again. You have 20 so in one mikveh, and you have 20 so in another mikveh. Now, you want to combine them, they should be considered 40 so. And the water goes right over the top of the wall. So if, we'll see, if the water is moist enough that if you touch the wa- make your hand wet, you get something else wet, good. that's a chibur. Right. But if it's just moist, and even though you feel the moisture, they're not connected. So it's, again, it's, it's explicit. Anitzuk, if you have the same thing, you have, let's say, water cascading down a mountain, and you have different... Uh, pools. pools of water. And the, the water that goes down the mountain connects them all, it's not considered a chibor. Each one's considered independent of the other. But it says, one <laughs> example says, is teifeach, enu chibor, lola tumu lola taira. Not to contaminate, and not for what? And not to purify. So again, so even if the head is teifeach, it's not what? It's, it's not, it's not mitzari. So what's Ilfa's question again? It's wet enough that you can make something else wet. That's how wet it is. It's not you feel moisture, but if you put your hand to it, it can make something else wet. That's also explicit in the Mishnah. Right? For mikvah, if let's say the, the water goes over the top, it's wet enough that if you, if you would touch, you would become wet from it. It is a chibor. So said, what's the shayla? Maybe for mikvos. Yeah, but, but you see something from the, interesting from the Gemara. Meaning, when we brought the first thing, it says, Tofech is not a chibu mikvah. See, one thing we're saying, Dimlini even mikvos. Maybe for mikvah, Tofech not. But maybe for washing hands, yes. See, st- you see clearly, for mikvah, if it doesn't work, it definitely doesn't work for the hand. Right? That's what you see. Of course, <coughs> you can see it again. No, maybe Tofech, that's lahat fiach, that's for mikvah, it's lakula. But for hands, with more machni. What's the rationale? I mean, you'd say for mikvah, which is doraisi, you should be more machmir. Here it's going the other way. For mikvah would be more mekel, and for, for hands you'd be more machmir. Of course, maybe that's only for mikvah. The answer is, when we speak about tyro, I mean, we were creating a fiction of tyro. There's no such thing on the Torah level you wash with a cup. There's no such thing, right? Mikvah is, is, a, is a Torah reality, right? A mayon is a Torah reality. What's, what's also, the, who created this cup business? The answer was, Arvias mayim is a semblance of that. So, but, but when you do it, you've got to do it right. Mm. Right? So if you have to do it right, even though my mikvah tzvech am naslat fiach is a chibur, but maybe for what for until so that, maybe it's not a chibur. And, the set, and that, that's Ilfa's question. 
Is it sufficient? It's not sufficient. Maybe it's talking about, what about washing from the, the keel? From the what? From the the cure? Yeah. What does the cure have to do with this? Nothing, but I mean... No, the cure you want... It might not have anything to do with this. Might, this halach might not have anything to do with the cup. Didn't they have live water in there? The what? The cure. That's the arisa, right? Okay. Yeah, but that's... That's, that's going to be a de arisa. That's not going to be like a... But it's there it's different. It, that's a gzera sakos. It has nothing to... Even if you hands a Taurus, you just came out of the mikvah. You still need Kedusha Dabar Aglaim. It's a separate halacha. Uh-huh. Right? There it's not a question of Tyra. It's, 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 it's qualifying you to, to do the avoda. Uh-huh. Okay? Let's see. Rashi, the Gemara says, Dilma hodikto echibali yimikvos kam Reb Yudahi. We say Reb Yudahi. We didn't finish. Dilma yimikvos. Reb Yudahi. It's non. Mikvah sheish bar boim so. Mechuvanos. Mikvah which has exactly 40 so. V'yordu shnaim v'tovelu. Two people went into the mikvah to be tovel. Okay? Shnaim v'vasachas tovel. If they both immerse themselves simultaneously, so because they're both submerged in the water at the same time, the water is fully in the mikvah, correct? B'zach what about if each one in consecutively? Harish and Torah, no good. The first one went in, there was definitely 40 so. The second one. Wait, wait, look, we didn't get to the second one yet, okay. right? You eat the second for portion after you eat the first. Okay? Rish and Tor, Vasheni Tomei. Tanakama says the second one's Tomei. Mm. One second. Rabbi Yudha says, no, well, if the first one went out of the mikvah, it's no question the second one is Tommy. Why? Re- Tommy means he retains the state of Tumah because he wasn't tovel in a mikvah that has 40 saw. Right? right? It's choser. What if Rabbi Yudha says, no, it depends. Im shall risha nogus If, let's say, when the second one went in, the foot of the first one is still connected, connected. Tor. then even the second one is tor, I, with the water. Why? Because we say... We say good achis. We say all the water on the person's body. We say right. connected, as if it's in the mikvah itself. Good. Let's see Rashi. Hashem you tomish chos hamikvah. They reach it nogus b'mayim b'shas tefilah sasheni. Avshin Torah the command of mechabri mayim shall arishin lemei mikvah dom. We say all the water on the body of the first one is attached to, to the mikvah. It, it's a little, it's factual. It's a little complicated. Because when the man comes out, let's say he's standing out at sun, let's say one droplet of, of, of the water drops, drips off his body. So it's less. So it comes out, even on his body, there's not sufficient water. Right. So we're seeing that in a situation. I mean, I, I don't. Mechumanus means it was like maybe a drop more. So therefore, there'll still be enough water on his body that, that if you yeah. see it in there, Four. you'll have 40. I mean, that's what you have to say. Okay? So maybe it's going. So that's what. Omar Ab Yirmiyo. A person who went, Rosh, the majority of his body went, this is a rabbinic lord, this is the morning Shabbos. Let's say he was in the Torah, what's the reason? It was a gzero because people said in those days, people would immerse themselves like in a cave. The water was, pu- was putrid, right. so they'd come out, you know what happened? By the summer it was putrid. It was, so they would go afterwards, they would like shower. So people said it's not it's not the mikvah, but it's it's the water they poured on them. So therefore, they had to say, you know, even if you tore, if you have water poured on some, you tell him you tummy. Because this is to, to, that this misunderstanding shouldn't shouldn't perpetuate itself. Is that still a decree today? If you go if you go to the mikvah, you can't you shower. shower people do. What's the what's the they, When I was in Baltimore, nobody no no nobody showered. We waited yet to wait a half an hour. Today, by the Hasidim, I see people, they go, they take a shower afterwards. Right. They do. I see that at Sabra, except there are Yomish before, and they say that's the one day they're going to. I always, I I always wait. I always yeah. wait. Could be, could be, th- you see, if you do it there, I hear it to be a problem. If you leave and do it in your house, th- that's something else. But I remember in Yeshiva, even when we went back to the Yeshiva, we never showered. You waited, made sure to wait a half an hour before you would shower for this reason. So firstly, <coughs> today the mikvah is for Kerry. It's a whole different thing. Yeah. It's a whole, whole different thing. It's not really tumma. It's a whole different thing. So to be machmi, you don't. Okay, so it says, Abo Rosh Rubab Maim Chuvim Tor. If he goes, the majority of his body is right. The Tor Shinoflo Abo Rosh Rubo Shloshabugim. Maim Chuvim Tomei. He's Tomei. Let's see Rashi over here. Tomei. Abo Rosh Rubo Shutor Maim Chuvim Sochakli. It's in a Kli. 
Tomei lechuma achi yidbo from Xeris Shimon Osid Dovrehi. This is there were eighteen decrees. They perkam the Rishach forish my time. A gozalev fishoyu lem moros sruchim litfilo. There was putrid water fitfilo. Lachet filo he rolled him b'shuvim. Afterwards they would rinse them, cleanse themselves with shuvim. The shiloma lo elu matar melil. People said it's not the the mikveh that was matariu, but it's the water. The gozalev shuv gozal al tor shiraf lo alv shol shuluk ma'im shuvim. The loho lo kaimel because one was dependent on the other. Okay. Further. Now, what about a person that has to go to to the mikveh for for keri? Not talking about because there's no such thing as as if you have a uh, tisha kabin, if you have somebody pour water on your tisha kabin, the aloch is it's it's the equivalent for keri. It's good. Okay. Yeah, because it's leniency. That was takonis ezra. That a balkari has to have go go could even be told him the kli, forty so could even be shuvim could even be shuvim. So let's say half of it he was up to his waist yeah. half, and they poured the rest right. Yeah. Do you combine tefila with nefila, right? Boy, Rabbi, chetzi be a chetzi be tefila mai teku. It's unresolved. Wow. Let's see, let's see Rashi, balkari chole. Where is it? Excuse me. Rega, chetzi be a besoch hakli chetzi be nefila shnofal chatsi guf shlosh lugin. The Mara leaves it under, un, un, uh, unresolved. Rega. So why is that different from hand, sticking your hand in and the other half of your hand goes uh, under the water? No, 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 no. The Marsha said no. You do combine it there. No, 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 no. So you tell me. It's a good question. Just tell me the difference. It's an obvious difference. Over there, each act is a valid act. Right. Here, you weren't fully immersed and you weren't even that fully poured on you. I got good. Right. You know, you know what this question is. Tosa says the question. We had that. We didn't have the tosi. We can have it in, in the, uh, soon. In Nafiomi, that if you give a get, and you uh, tattoo it onto the evid. Oh, right. And you, okay. So Tosis asks, how do you t how do you tattoo an evid? He's chav mitzvah kisha. You know, a Jew's not permitted to tattoo himself. Okay. It's mitzvah above avera. Right. So Tosa says he made the perforation, yeah. and he did not inject the dye into the perforation. Right. That's what Tosis answers. Okay. What are you shaking your head? It's a good, good answer. It's an amazing answer. Okay, so the Mitzchinech asks, why it should be Chatzi Shur? Yeah. Chatzi Shur also in Torah. So what would you answer? It's a very simple answer. Chatzi Shur. Is it compared with the Chatzi Shur or not? It's half the act. It's not. Chatzi Shur, when you take non-kosher meat, you eat less than the full amount. But what you ate is not kosher. Right. Here, tattooing is perforation injecting with dye. This is half. Yeah. It's like you're not cutting it vertically, you, you're cutting it horizontally. Okay. Okay. That's the same thing over here. Here we're talking about it's half and half. There you did a full act on each hand. Right. Here it's a half act. So yeah. the question, do I combine two half acts, which each one's nothing, to create a whole? Because one's tefillah, one's the filo. I thought here, here it is, one's a bidiyevic situation. No, no, it's not bidiyevic. No, it's not. <coughs> not for carry. For carry. For carry hole. You have a sick full carry. No, it doesn't make a difference, but either way it's, it works. Either it's way, really but he has relevance. No, but either way it works. If you have Nevila, the Tefillah works. So here you have, you have even better than that. You have, you have, you have Tefillah. Tefillah, and now you've got the other half, which so may definitely, or may not. No, not may, may not. No, it definitely should work. If you would have full Tefillah, it's not a problem. Of course, if you had full the other way. So, 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 so that's the question. Do I combine it? Right. It's the same person? It's same the person, same, same person, the Cholet. He's sitting up in, in the cleat up to his waist in water, and, and you pour the rest on him. Tish tish a copy. I think they do it today with the with the mace if they don't have a um, yeah, yeah. That's what they, they do. Tish a copy. Yeah, because they have no choice. We have the status of a bulkhead. That has to, they, it's something else. It's a whole it's different. Tyra. It's Tyra. It's something else. Mm -hmm. So it shouldn't work. Yeah, but over there, it's Tyra. It's preparing for burial. I mean, you'd have something more tummy than a mess. Right. Understand? Okay. Yeah, one person says, Nechtav, Nechtav, yeah. Omer of Yudah, Omer Shmuel, Bar Yehuda, Omer of Yochanan, Loshan, Loshan, Naget Yotzim, Taxi, Deishneim. 
It's only with an apple shlichim. Here, one person is funny nechtav, and the other one is funny nechtam. So, the get is not yotzim tach shneim. Here, take look. Shein shneim shluchim baboso. The lo havi shneim shivi you get el echor hevi. Sorach hamevi lo funech for nechtam. Vizelu omer. Here, one's a shlich, the other one's not a shlich. So factually, the shlich didn't say what he was supposed to say because the one who completes it is versus not a shlich. Okay. the way you send two shluchim, you should be able to. They should. They should be able to testify. No, but one d- didn't see. No, didn't one see didn't see the signing. Okay, he didn't see the, the signing. Thing. You only have one on the signing. If you have so one, one on the signing, should be enough, no? Or you're combining different parts. But he didn't say it. That's each one said right. independent. Yeah, okay, fine. But that's that, that's the question. Uh, but that's what he's saying. That admission says not valid. That's only when one was a shlich, one's not a shlich. I will get you some kind of kosher. I don't know what does it mean. They're both attached to it. What do you mean they're both adukimbo? Aduk means you're attached to the get. Here he says, because again, Tosis makes a point on this. I mean, what does it mean? They have to hold it. They have to hold it. Well, they're both shluchim. Tosis says, Mashapir Shkunji Shneem Adukim, Bo Lav Davka. Shane Sorshu, Mami Shneem Adukim, Bo Zim Get. What they both have to hold it? They're both shluchim. He point take the 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 other one gave in the presence of the other one. Excuse me. Okay. Because that was Muslo Shikho. Right? According to what Lach Shalom according to Rabbah. Right? You still have to say but if it's two, you don't. Why don't you have to? No, because Muslo Shikho. Because it's Muslo Shikho lo Gosbar Rabbonan. It's an unusual case. Therefore, we're not concerned if it will revert case. back to the original problem. Okay. Right? But in our situation, where, right, it's not, it's not the case. One is testifying about the writing, One the other one is testifying about the, right? But, but let's say they're both. So we see both of them as what is valid. Because they're both shluchim. I will get your star name. It's kosher. Al Muksover. So Morris says, I'll look sober. So if that's the case, okay, Rav Shmuel Bar Yehuda says, name Rav Yochanan, I'll look sober, Shnem Shviu, Gebu Didis Ayom, Ein Tzvichim Shom, Fonein Nech, Fonein Nechtam. They don't have to. Omele Abayi Elam Yato, Sefer to Tony, let's read the Sefer to Mishnah. Shnaim Omrim Befoneinu Nechtav, to say it was written in our presence, Vechrom Befoneinu Nechtam, Posu. Where it's possible for Rabbi Yudamachshir. Now, so why is it possible? Taimo de na giotzit yet get giotzit darshneim. Hot yet giotzit darshneim. Machshir Rabbanon. The Rabbanon would what? Would validate it. Yeah. Amalayin. He says definitely they would. I mean it's consistent. If they're both shluchim, it would be it would be good. Ain. V'chein get giotzit darshneim b'mayfli. What's the argument? So Rabbi Yuda says what? Rabbi Yudah says it's kosher. So we're saying, according to the Chachomim, it's only because, why is it possible? Because they're not both shluchim. But if they both shluchim, according to Rabbi Yudah, it would be kosher. Rabbi Yudah says no. Even the they're not both shluchim, two speak about the ksiva. One speaks about the chasima, it's kosher. My plea, the Marsova Gazrin Dilma Osilach Lufi became shtoros. The Alma, the Erechot. Yeah, what's the case? The case we speak about, Rega. Shnaimum befonenu nechtav, shnaimum befonenu nechtam. 
So you'll have one on what? On the chasima. So that's, that's the question. So if you're going to validate it with one, right? Then so people who say you could validate it, you could have kim shtar with a one. Right. So right? So one holds, so therefore the Tanakhama says it's possible. Right. It's possible. If they're not both shluchim. If they're not all shluchim. You're not going to say because since factually the Ksiva is being addressed, yes, therefore it's not going to be confused. Yeah. Even the, they're both Shluchim, it's possible. Where one testifies about the Ksiva, one testifies about the Chasima, but they're both Shluchim. Right. Because here you, you have two Shluchim. Both of them have to say for nech for nechtam. Amalei Abayis Abayis says Elamiyata Seifa says this Liftoni Shneimom for nechtam Echrom for nechtam Posul. Right. So what does it say? We're saying according to the Lishnah in the second version, even if they'll shluchim, they both have to testify about the Ksiva and the Chasima. And over here, what does it say? A review does not share. So he says, what does it say? We say two speak about for nechtam Echrom for nechtam Posul. Review the Marsha, I feel like you see Tarsia Chneim, Pastle Rabbon, and the Rabbon Apostle, even if they're both Shluchim. Omaliyain, Micah, if the Master of Fish ain't became the Shmo, one holds ain't became the Shmo, so therefore what? Even, so they have, even if you have two, it's possible. Master of Fish ain't even Sumil Kaimo. So the Marsha says, Lame of the Rabbo of Rav Tanoi. So seemingly it's Machlok's Tanoim. Right, because these are Tanoim, Reb Yehuda and the Tanakama. Reb Yehuda is a machshir. What is he concerned about? He's concerned about. We couldn't find a Tanoim no. source. No, no, no. That was our problem. No, but over here we're saying. Gimel. Yeah, but here right, you're right. You're right. But now the Gemara says we have we have Reb Yehuda. Well, let's see what over here. There you go. Hilko shnayim sheiviu get shrichem nomar vahani lo klum amru kedam oran. Yeah. There you go. The Rabbonin say it's possible. Why? Because they you have two on the Ksiva and one on the Chasima. Why is it possible? Because confused. No, we're talking about even when they're Shluchim. They're both Shluchim. Right. They're both Shluchim. We're saying it's possible. So you know it, it was written Lushma. Right? And what's fun Nechnem? So why is it possible? Of course, it's Edom Tzun Lekaimu. Rabbi Yudh is Machshir because you have two people who testified about, about that it is Lishma. It is Lishma. I feel good just to ask them. I'm Rabbi Yudh. The mic with him. Marsof Yishem Kim Lishma. That's who? That's, that's Rabbi Yudh. Rabbi Yudh is Machshir because you have two witnesses saying it was written Lishma. Or Marsof Yishem Kim Lishma. So how many do you have on the Kiyom? You have one. And since you have the question of Lachlufe, it could be confused. It's, it's a problem. Right? Because only one's valid in it. Lamed, the Rabbi Rav Tanoi, Mars is low. Rav the Betaritz Latame, the Rabbi Betaritz Latarits. Rav is Betaritz Latame, Kilishna Kamo. Rav Oma Loch, Kuli Amo Bin Lishmo. Everybody agrees you need Lishmo. Volkab Maeskina, Lach Shalomdu. It's after they're all proficient. Oh, we concerned that it may revert back to the original situation. According to the Tanakam, we're concerned. No, we are concerned. That's why they say it's not valid. Right. Right. The Mars of Gazina, Mars of Lo Gazina. Wait a second. Will Lifle Gnami review the ratio? Was there a view to argue even the ratio? There you go. One second. Let's see Rashi. Rab Matars Kalishna Kamo, then get your Tachi de Shneim, the Shneim Hevio, Hevio, Kuli Alma Kosher. Two bring it, they ain't Trichin Latam, Fishen, Vok Shivu, Echor, Omer Sheir Al Chasima, Time to Rebuda, came the Katre Achrini, Axivo Los Lechlufe, Rabo Mugula Kalishna, by Omadoch, Hoka de Marsh Rebu, Labishum the Shneim, even get ain't Trichin Loma, Lachilom do, ain't Tri Elo Lachilom das Kinon, Lamai Nechoslo, Ilishmo, Hiko, Ila Kaimo, Hiko Shnaim, Ikoshnaim. Ha'ikoch. 
the Shnaim Haim. One second. Rega, Amos Seifo, Amos Seifo, Amos Seifo. One second. Would he have Shnaim? In the Seifo, would he have Shnaim? Rashi says, in the Seifo, you have Shnaim, but you only have two. And what's his name? Omala Chochemar, who reviewed the Labi Shum, the Shnaim, Mevi, and Gerin Tzrichin. Elo Lach Shalom do. Lamanech Imish Lomusho Hoiko, the Ilakaimo, he's Ilakaimo Hoiko, he Hoiko. The Shnaim him. What do you have two? Right? You have two on the Ksiv, not on the Ksimo. Rabbonet passed because the God Shem Yasso of Kukulov, Rebu the Sovolo, because he betrayed the Maisigito, Loshiko, Logozerbo, Rabbonon. Okay? Even though it's, it's different here, right? Because you have two, it's not two on the same thing. Go, go back and explain it. You've got three, I thought. No, you have two on the Ksiva, one on the on the Chasima. Right. So, 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 but we're still concerned, it may revert back to the original. No, right? So the answer is because if it's Muslim Shikha, the two should testify. Therefore, we're not concerned about that. Okay. Right? So the challenge would come on the one, not on the two? You know, you know what's bothering? We had, remember we brought before review the holes, you need Ksiv and you need Chasim right. So it comes out, but you only have one. Yeah. So is that one challenge? Wait, 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 I'm asking a different question. The Gemara Ovi is not bringing up the, the, that situation, review the holes, okay. that you need both Ksiv and Chasim L'Shmo. One second. One second. Totally different than Rashi. Okay, let's go further. Mosiv earlier. So where is it? Liflik Dami reviewed the Bereisha. How Idma lo Omer Ula Cholok reviewed the Aprishona. He did argue. Yeah, the Rish the Rish says once it's funny nech funi nechtam, the Chacham say it's possible, it's possible, right? What what he should also argue? No, as Reb Yuda argues in the Sefer, he should argue in the Rasha. What is he arguing in the Rasha? Reb Yuda, right? Right. Zimmer says, Pega. Omar Ula Cholke Rabbi Dapri Shem. No, he argues even in the first case. He says like this: We're saying that according to Rabbi Yudah, we're not concerned with Shem Yasdov with Kukulo, right? So what do you need before he nechtav? Only it shouldn't be confused, correct? Right. So Lach Shalom do. It's it's really not necessary, right? So what are we mainly concerned about? Funny nechtav tam. It's not a forgery. Okay, so he is. The race says if you have one on the ksiva, one on the ksiva, it's possible. Reb doesn't argue. Reb should argue, because what's what's the case? We're learning it's lach shalom do, and and we're not concerned shemi asdav with kukulo. So why when one testifies on the ksiva? And one testifies on the chesimo, even though they're not speaking about the same thing, it, sh it shouldn't be a problem, right? So that that ruler says he's arguing. He's arguing. Moshe Rav Oshe Lula, so Rav Oshe Yisula reviewed the Marshi Bezu Vlo He says he's Marshi in this case and not in another case. Right? What's the inference? Marshi Bezu. In the case of two on the chesimo, one on the chesimo, he's Marshi. So what's the, the inference of that? This case and not any other case. My lavan butei echrom funi nechtam echrom funi nechtam lo butei befunny nechtam avlo befunny nechtav. Hear this? We only spoke about the ksiva. The ksiva did not speak about the ksiva. 
So Gedaita Chamina Hova Lo Gozer Reb Yehuda Gzei Roshim Yasdov Lo Kukulo. Just as Reb Yehuda is not concerned, they may revert back to the original situation. Dil Mos Lachluv B'Shtaras Dalmo Beit Echod Nami Lo Gozer. Even though it has no relevance, even though Kamash Malon, no. But that he is go- that he is Gozer. Here, he has a shvach. I mean, it's a weak Kavamina. Just as he's not concerned about Shem Yaz Dovel Kukulo, here also he would not be concerned. He had a difficulty. I mean, they're not comparable. Here, presently, it's not a problem. The case of, of confusion, that's a problem now. It's right. not something that may happen in the future. Right. Now people will not differentiate between Kim Shtoros, which normally two, and he have Echod to be Mechai Mishtar. Right? Right. right? It says two people bring Geb Nis Niyom. Bono Machlok Shreb Yudu Rabbonon. Yeah. Rabbi Barchona Cholash Ola Gabi Reb Yudu. Rabbi Lishu Libei. Okay. Rabbi Barchona became was not well. And Reb Yudu and Rabbi and came. It says Rabbonon. They came to pay a sick visit. Boy, Mine, they asked him a question. They asked Rabbi Chon Shaila. Shnaim Shivi Ugeb Din Sayam. Tzrichen Shiyom Mufon Inechta Fon Inechta Mo Ain Tzrichen. Right? Two bring the get. Do they have to say anything? Omelam Ain Tzrichen. Mai Lu Yom Fon Enu Girsho Vilo Mehemni. If they would say she was divorced now, presence. Right? Do they have to testify? Let's say they yeah. saw the husband giving you the get. Right. And now they yeah. come and say. They have to say what the get was written Lishma. They they have no idea. That's sufficient. Yeah. We had this early. Ain't trichin. My long yom for the gishmi lo mehemni ad hoche hoche. Also, who chevro? What happened? So chevro is a person that those were the, the sect of Persians in Bovel. Shokel lishrag mi kabayu. And he took what because they they used to have holidays. That you weren't permitted permitted to have light, because the only light they permitted was in their temples of Avodah Zorah, right? Shogel Shragim Kamei Omer Omer Rachman O Betuloch O Betuloch. Okay. Rega Omer Rabbi Chon Rachman Rachman O Betuloch O Echbienu Betzeloch Haglunu Betzel Bnei Esav She Mechab Din Osanu. I mean, these are Persians. They're worse worse than Esav. Hashem, He said. Either it should be in your shadow, or, or it should be in the shadow of Asa, but they add them, not in the, not in the uh, whatever it is, the Persians. Okay? Lememra, Daromoi, Malumi Parsoi, that the Romans are better than the Persians. Because from what the statement he made. Avatar Reb Chiyab, Maidich Siv, Elokim Haven, Darko, who Yoda es Mekoima. What does this mean? Yodea Koreshbok Bishro, Shen Yechom Lekabu Gzeris Aromoyim. The Romans are so bad. Their, their decrees are overwhelming. Hashem knows that they cannot accept their decrees. And therefore, that's where the Hebrew were. The Persians were in Bovel. So from there, it's, it seems to be that the Persians are better than the Romans. Okay, yeah. So why did Rabbi Chana say, we, either your shadow or the shadow of what? Of Edom. The Posuk is speaking before the Persians came to Bovel. It was Babylonians. The Persians are worse than the, ba- ba- the Babylonians. And the Persians are worse than, than Edom, than Romans. Yeah. So those over here asks. Pishkuch is Hebri, Heine Parsoi. It's Parsoi. Mekami does a Hebri, the Bovel, Heine Mekazm, Ranezvo, Rudor. It seems to be it's two different sects, right? It was later they corrupted these this group they corrupted the Persians they became worse than the Romans in terms of oppressing the Jews they originally came to Amakorish right 
Lebovel bagozil basha minon domalei rav the rakana adoidno having mochusa the yivoni lo kapti ashvitos dom the 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 Greeks they they didn't care about murder hashd varshoyim ninu lo kapti ashvitos domim they they were opposed to murder shed mashd me rav also parshim lebovel amri also mochusa how do you know having mochusa the yivoni shemoshlim shel bovel hoyu mi yivonim meaning they dominated the, the Persians originally the Greeks dominated the Persians they didn't let they, they, therefore, Achshav Boshlem Hem Parsim Avol Ola Parsim Ho Yusham Mios Korsh. They've been there a long time. Okay, to be continued.